We've got some news about the recent Xbox dashboard update. Hi, I'm Carl Sardell. This is your Press Pause Daily. In the absence of any big new releases this week, we bring you some stories about the new updated Xbox 360 dashboard. According to Microsoft themselves, all new apps coming to the Xbox 360 dashboard will have to have some form of Kinect functionality. It doesn't mean that controller support will be abandoned in those apps. They would just want the Kinect option to be there for their customers. Now, if they could just unify how the Kinect functionality functions, actually functions, that would be a helpful step towards streamlining the whole dashboard experience, and that's just my opinion. In other Xbox dashboard news, Joystick is reporting that the indie games are getting a bit of the shaft. Currently, beacons don't work with them, cloud storage is not supported, and the new indie releases don't appear under new releases. Weird, because isn't this a fruitful time for indie games, like making it to the mainstream? Didn't Braid teach us anything? Do us a favor, to combat this oversight, go pick up a few indie games tonight. I mean, they're like a dollar each. What are you, the Grinch? That will do it for your Daily Dose Press Pause. If you missed the show yesterday, you are a terrible person, but you can catch out all the previous episodes over at presspause.media.com. Also, why not head over to our YouTube page? You got nothing else better to do. YouTube.com slash PressPauseMevio. And while you're there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? You know what's just as cool as video games? Savings! If you're looking for some new shoes or just need the latest sporting apparel, look no further than eastbay.com. They have a wide selection of athletic shoes and clothing for any occasion. And if you use the code AFPRESS1 when you check out, you'll save 10% off any order of $50 or more. Dude, that's awesome! Save yourself some money!